here today with my friend and colleague, Harold Sue, and I have some questions that I'd like for you to uh, respond to. So uh, I remember when uh, you started the INNS, and I wonder if you could tell us uh, you know, when that was and why you were inspired to do that. Sure, it would be good. I'd be good. glad to do so. It's a, just 30 years ago, so... <laughs> How could your eyes see will optical radar sonar cannot detect? That is a really beginning when I jump into study neural network. Mm. And then happened to be few of my colleagues at the Rockefeller University. They also study human brain computation from biological reason, not from mass or mass medical reason. So we together, 17 of us, form an international neural network society. Mm -hmm. I just happen to be the hard worker, I'm the treasurer and secretary uh -huh. <laughs> did in all the incorporation uh -huh. for the society. Science can never do alone. You mm -hmm. need a teamwork. So I was learned to do so. So that's really the behind the whole story. Uh, I start neural network because I realize that we need interdisciplinary, you need a biologist, engineers, you need application driven, everybody together. That's how we eventually create neural network at a labor research lab. Mm -hmm. So I know you're interested in uh, unmanned application. Yeah. Yeah. So I definitely yeah. interested in application area and uh, this sort of relate to recently to this book of science that mentioned that the a manned autonomous vehicle mm -hmm. and the various level they go into it and the level I had in mind is uh, we still have a human in the loop that uh, like uh, I sit in the shotgun level mm -hmm. or whatever driver level but the machine take care of everything while I do my office work in my car that kind of level according to this one called level 4 still take a dozen years Level four, automation. Doesn't use to do. Mm -hmm. And that is really a shame because I believe this un unmanned autonomous vehicle will driven American economic booming. Mm -hmm. In fact, to the fourth booming. So let me begin. Yeah. Uh, the first generation booming, revive everybody that is really start with Eisenhower, President Eisenhower, built interstate highway. Mm -hmm. Turns out that helped American economic booming. So that's the first generation booming, I would say, Eisenhower. Second generation booming is really come from Kennedy days. John F. Kennedy uh, showed Russian that you can land Sputnik, we can land the people on the moon. And so to that, they pushed the whole national effort into develop a computer control. So precision electronics, I would say, come from that moon landing industry. And the benefit of the computer, all the, everything, totally away from the early day computer. Microsoft, all that come from afterwards. And that's a second generation. Third generation booming, I will give credit to internet. DABA, those ABA, those they call them, mm -hmm. they want the scientists able to communicate each other to the program manager directly. They do high risk, high payoff efforts. El Gore say that is good because not only it will trickle research collaboration, but it will also help the economic circulation. And number four, I think it will come from this UAV, unmanned autonomous vehicle, the one we just talking about. Mm -hmm how I see computation in neural network society should go into that direction. Because that will generate revenue for the society, benefit from people. But I had in mind more is a truck between depot to depot. The most expensive element is a truck driver. You can do without truck driver, do dedicated role. Doesn't take 12 years to get there. I think six years would do. So and you're thinking that's the best starting point for yes. our future autonomous For the future vehicles. for autonomous vehicle yeah. mm -hmm. is develop into the truck. Mm -hmm. Rather than in the city, human being, human is very peculiar animal, you know that. <laughs> we maybe abide the law. We 
sometimes violate the rules. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's our creativity thinking. And so this is a why I think the, uh, to make a truck driving from fixed point to point, why a human on the depot manager still have a job to mm -hmm. do this goods mixing. And that will provide number four economic boom in the in United States. Mm -hmm. And for that technology, you know, we need beyond this computation intelligence, we need to understand human being, how our thinking, like I would say, we are by the law or by the rule. We somehow fuzzy in our thinking, fuzzy mm -hmm. in our thinking. It's not we brain confused, just we have emotion in our mm -hmm. behavior here. So this is really bring me to the level that we want to know how we can incorporate fuzzy logic or fuzzy membership function into computation. I will go into a little bit more detail about that. It's not so straightforward. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, those billion dollar investment worldwide, mm -hmm. they would jump already into it. I will point out the difficulty about the fuzzy logic part, mm -hmm. but I think we might have a good approach to it. To the rest, I will go into that. So computational thinking, the thinking part is incorporating the way people think yes. into the computer. Into computer, because otherwise, how would you understand human? Right. You don't know human how human thinking. Mm. I'm not saying computer need to develop emotion to love human, right. but you need to understand human has emotion. Right. But you know, after a few drinks, <laughs> the emotion is really not computer cannot understand. So this is the interesting part, why computer can play chess, be the human, but cannot drive car. First, I will define what's the challenge of fuzzy logic. Mm -hmm. It's easy said than do. The reason what is fuzzy? Fuzzy is a possibility thinking, mm -hmm. not probability thinking. Mm -hmm. Probability means in a fixed set, you can compute a probability in Komogorov sense. Possibility means you have infinite set, way beyond your early expectation. Mm -hmm. You never know a red light and people still walk through because mm -hmm. it's beyond your cookbook, so yeah, to speak. Right? Right. But you have to take that into account. So there's a chance they'll do something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how would you take it those possibility into computer? Mm -hmm. Remember, computer by John Van Neumann mm -hmm. is a finite state machine. They have finite storage. Can you store past the real integer just that? not even real number, integer, positive real integer, not even negative one, mm -hmm. one to infinite into computer. Mm -hmm. Answer is no, because mm -hmm. infinite too big for that finite state machine. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you, you cannot store all that possibility, even positive to integer. Mm -hmm. Now, fuzzy membership function is an infinite open set. Then how would you store human behavior into the computer? But somehow computer combined together become more narrow. I'm young and beautiful. Oh, that membership immediately reduced. So the logical triangulate them. Logic is not fuzzy. It's the membership set is fuzzy. Like young is fuzzy. Beautiful is fuzzy. Then young and beautiful together become less, become less fuzzy, more crisp now. Mm -hmm. Computer can compute that. Mm -hmm. So all you need is have a formula to generate what is young. A formula generate what is beautiful. That difficult formula, I'm saying. But if you have a computing formula, then you can compute with fast computer of that and eventually triangle them together. You get the result for current needs. Of course, for unmanned autonomous vehicle, it's not that challenge as young and beautiful. It's a really, you need to know the friction on the road or weather condition. It's all possibility, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, the car momentum also different. Tie friction are different. That you should write down dynamic equation to compute it, rather than store the infinite possibility. Mm -hmm. The dynamic equation, I will call einstein brown motion, because the Newton's equation and the linear friction of come from the tie. And that's your variable. The how old is the time, how low condition, is it wet or dry weather condition, and that you can compute mm -hmm. on the spot 
with the condition you read in. Right? Mm -hmm. And more than that, you also need to know the situation outside. Is the, is the car need to know. Normally, when we use the LiDAR, laser radar, but the, all those books, they use one laser radar. Why not use two? Uh, two cars, they know two is important. Why biological, we have two eyes rather than one eye? One eye disappear evolutionarily. Mm -hmm. So there's a reason for it. Right. And why we two eye? Two year, everything two. Right. There's a reason for why the car do not have a two. You should give them two. Because two, when they agree, must be signal. Disagree must be noise. I can't ignore. Rainy day, rain drawer, block your light, laser radar. The other one will not. Together, you form a final image. So it's not much more cost. Just learn from biology, the sensing. Mm -hmm. Biological brain, we have two-sided brain. Again, two. Not just one brain. Dinosaur have two brain, one at the head, one at the tail, because they're too far away. They need to control motion. But human combine into one, right in here. The reason for it, the communication and coordination much easier. So that leads to computational thinking. Correct. So we have the, even laser radar, you need a pair sensing. Third one, the location of your car, you need a very precise. Right now, the GPS, Global Position System, can only provide you precision all the way to, from one meter, you need to push to one feet level. Because if you calculate that distance wrong, you may mean you hit people or run over the people, right? So that, the GPS location, again, based on computation, is a three satellite, triangulate, and they will add, also add another four satellites. In fact, Iridium communicates 66 satellites. So that's an element, mm -hmm. is Iridium. So with the GPS, we need to do multiple satellites and compute on the spot. So get precision all the way to the one feet level. Then your car can have better judgment to when to stop. I know you've referred to an article about a person being run over. Yeah, that's what went wrong there. Yeah, that, that, that is a, like I said, that woman uh, is a, in Phoenix, Arizona. She's somewhat intoxicated. Mm. She just walked through the red light and the car just run right away. Autonomous car. Yeah. Insurance right away pay for the dead woman. Because not, if you hit a human, you right away stop. The car just continue run away from me, based on distant judgment, based on everything I have mentioned. So the insurance company sued the Uber company, taxi company. You have a design fault. Got their fundamental machine design in human society. Your machine can do all alone in a factory. But once you want to coexist with human, you really need to understand human much more than before. So for that one is that they do not understand human may take that fuzzy decision. And that is what I think the why it take 12 years there. If we can using those dynamic approach to the fuzzy dynamical equation and compute driving related one, we could concentrate the effort and achieve in six years. Mm -hmm. That I think it will really help in fact, probably reduce casualty during the red human driving. Mm -hmm. The human tend to have a talking and other things still driving, mm -hmm. and they will miss the machine can dedicate on that. Mm -hmm. So there are synergistic, I think, that we could make a, not only beneficial, also earlier benefits for the society. Mm -hmm. uh, that's part reason I think that will be the fourth economic boom coming. Okay. Uh, so what do you recommend for uh, doing the research? Yeah, that's a very good question. I think that certainly we need to go back to teach fuzzy logic, mm -hmm. fuzzy membership. But not Lafayette or fuzzy logic. You need a Walter Freeman dynamical equation approach to the fuzzy. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, the infinite possible choice beyond computer can hold. In fact, Walter Freeman gave me quite, he recognized human brains doing computation approach. We don't use memory store, because that space is way be too small for, for us can do. For that, 
I think school need to start teaching fuzzy, not the logic. Logic is Boolean mm -hmm. algebra, very sharp. Mm -hmm. Okay, use intersection union and or you know all that exclusive. All. It's the membership entering F A F fuzzy membership function. That's an open set. That should compute by dynamical equation mm -hmm. rather than store the result. Mm -hmm. With that hybrid approach, and we can test on a model car in the room and make them cross each other. Mm -hmm. And to see using this new approach, make them less chances to collide each other. And you know, driving is a really peculiar thing. So only when come to this country, I learned at the high speed driving, when you turn, you really don't use your wheel, you use centrifugal force. You just loosen the hand, centrifugal force carry you up. Mm -hmm. You will come in, just gently pull a little bit and come in. So the wheel and the accelerator pad together is a subtle balance. Mm -hmm. I wonder whether the car learned that yet, current the car. You know? mm -hmm. So those really the using the dynamic of the car motion together with the Nyaponov control theory, we should be able to model simulate in a laboratory environment higher speed and with the road and traffic light, you know, to really do real world situation. Mm -hmm. Then perhaps we can earlier get to the accomplishment. That's what I figure school need to do laboratory and uh, interdisciplinary people need to study human brain and all that. Yeah. Okay, well thank you so much for the interview yeah. and uh, looking forward to seeing people trying this out. Yeah.